Are you ready for a snack attack? It's another episode of Trippy Food. Not a snack another... attack, not right now. <laughs> Wait, this is a there's a bad climate. We shouldn't be talking about oh snacks though. We're gonna start. We're gonna oh, start here. Okay. Gonna start here. Oh, oh, okay. Topical. So welcome to Trippy Food and another installment of Snack Attack. And oh. I again once a. Oh. Is this something oh. I said? Oh what? No, yeah. Oh, okay. Oof, sorry. <laughs> and I am once again joined by the infamous Matt Zion. Infamous? I uh, know. I think it would be in, in the not famous. And Majestic yeah. from Reckless Eating. Mm -hmm. yep. And so we are going to try three um, snacks. Uh, I, I would say chips, but they're not really chips. Only one of them is chips. So we have uh, three items. This is uh, Simple Truth Organic, which I think is uh, Kroger brand. Okay. Uh, and these are Hot Cheese Crunchies Multigrain. But if you look at the outside of the ba bag, it's obviously their attempt at doing a healthy version of uh, Flamin' Hot Cheetos. Right. Who owns uh, that's Kroger? Kroger? That's out here. What's is it? Bonds or Albertsons? Well, no, no. Kroger is the owner. The stores out here is Ralph's. That's just owned by the same people. It's Ralph's. That's yeah, like Ralph's, Ralph's is owned by Kroger's. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, up in uh, up in Oregon, it's uh, Fred Meyer, and then someplace I think Food Lion. Mm -hmm. There's a couple of other ones, but around the country. Did you know Kroger was the only time that there was an Oreo flavor that I couldn't get a hold of until so it was totally oh, like it was the Swedish Fish Oreos that came out. And they were all, they were Kroger exclusive. They didn't go to Ralph's or anything. But we happened to be in Texas when they were out, so I got to do them. Oh, there you wow. go. Um, there you go. Thanks, Texas. Texas. For you. What's really strange is, is that it is not a Kroger store, but in the uh, Portland area, there's a Winco. There's Winco around here, too. Yeah. Um, but uh, Winco carries a lot of stuff that, you know, a lot of the other stores don't carry. They, they have a very... Un, a very Diverse? Yes, a very diverse uh, selection. I'm like an Aldi more. Aldi's starting to He's got to be an Aldi. Yeah. That I just a, get them because they're cheap, but their stuff is like super good quality. Grocery yeah. outlet? Have you ever been to Grocery oh, Outlet? Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, grocery Outlet's like, the only like thing about, lots but good. The only thing about Grocery Outlet, though, is if you find something, you got to like grab a couple of them because usually it's like... Oh, because yeah. it's, yeah, it's like it's, big lots. Yeah, it's it's, it's, it's dying. It's, it's on its death rate. Yeah, you rotate stuff out. So this, you have to look at the little sticker on here. It's, and I'm probably going to going to say this wrong, Kwai Kwai Corn Snack. No, no. If yeah, anyway, the key of pronunciation is right here. I, I took school, okay? I did school. He took school. Kwai Kwai Corn Snack! There you go. Wow. Then, you know, okay. You, 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 you schooled me. Um, you want to take a shot at it? Kwai Kwai Corn Snack. No. I think that's what I said. Both so, yeah, we're, we're, both, we're both wrong. We're both, we're both wrong. wrong. Sorry, guys. I did school. Anyways, these are uh, these are like corn puffs, but they're strawberry flavored, which I found really do a smiley face bizarre. Face. Yeah, well, they make a, a little smiley face. Smiley. Like hey, no, it is. It's a smiley face. That's yeah. what they're doing. On Asian stuff, they always do smiley faces. And uh, and, and these we got at 99 Ranch Market. Awesome. I love that place, by the way. Yeah. Oh, you always find at least 20 items you didn't know existed. And then the last one, I don't know where I got this. Uh, I've never seen this brand before, no. Feast and Fury, which is the brand. And these are Kraft Potato Chips. Habanero Hickory Barbecue, and that just sounds, sounds really, yeah, yeah. really What's good. What's the brand? It's Austin something. Well, no, On it says back. Austin, Texas. They're Austin, Texas. But I think, I think that's brand. just where they're where they're made. I but think that's, I think Feast and Fury is the name no, of it. No, I think that's the brand. Austin, Austin Texas. Texas is the name I, of the I brand. So. so I don't Whoa. know. Feastandfury.com. Yeah, there you go. Yep, Austin, Texas. I know where you go. Right. Yeah. <laughs> guys, I like the guys. packaging. I did school. They're from and and this company is located in in Feast and Fury, Texas. Um, there we go. Right. Wow, okay, I've been there. We so, figured it out. There we go. So I'll leave it up to you guys, but I'm thinking if they're really hot. Ah, 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 what are you doing? No, turn it upside down. There you go. I, we had to shake it first. Okay. No, he does that shit. He does this upside oh, down thing. That powder. Oh, God. A lot of powder. I was having a seizure for a second. It was your, your light. <laughs> it, 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 it like caught you and flickered. I was like, wait a minute. I, am I dying? Oh, wow. Those smell super stale. <laughs> They're not no, they, smell like, they smell like kettle cooked chips. I, I think that's, they that's are. They smell like kettle cooked, cooked chips. All right. They're very red. Oh, that's really that's delicious. Oh, yeah. Okay. They're crunchy. They're not stale. It doesn't break your teeth or anything, so that's good. Yeah. The spice is... Mm. Oh, wow. It hits mm. initially, but it's not... Mm -hmm. Like super spicy. It's more the flavor of the pepper than the, the spice. Yeah. Yeah. No, but but the, there is that barbecue flavor yeah. to yeah, it. Yeah, no, it's really good. It's really good. Those are tasty. Yeah, that's fantastic. The oh, spice yeah. like hits you in the nose. You like the texture? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, well, the texture is good. Well, the, the, yeah, the, I typically don't like kettle cooked chips no, either. Yeah. To me, really the good. to me the spice is sneaky. Yeah. It kind of it kind of sneaks up on you. It uh, hit my sinuses a little bit, but 
It's casual heat, I think. Yeah, yeah it's no, great, but it is good. I, but I also, yeah, I, you know, I eat that. ghost peppers on a daily basis, basically, so. Those are really good. Those uh, are all right, those are going to get a big thumbs up for me. Huge. Big thumbs up. up. Yeah. Easy. Excellent. So, Easy. if you the, see those, grab The hugest thumbs up you've ever seen. <laughs> well, he has tiny hands, though, so it's, it's more like this. The hugest thumbs up. We had the best out of the narrows. <laughs> yeah. Uh, all right, so um, I think let's... I think I want to save this for last because it's it's sweet. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but we're not going to taste it after all this other stuff. I'm, I'm, wait, no, I would argue that the cheese, the regular cheese, would be good because this is going to be more like candy. That's going to be more like this. Okay, but this is uh, it, it says hot, but yeah. it's like you know, simple truth, organic hot, which is probably not hot. There is no more simple truths. No, <laughs> not in this <laughs> no, not not in the United States. States. There's more simple. Truths. There's simple alternative facts. Yeah, <laughs> simple fake news. They 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 look more orangey than uh, flaming hot Cheetos. Speaking of orange, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know oh. what though? None of the ripoff versions of Cheetos are ever as good as Cheetos. I've never, I've just never had one. Other than there's one brand. You mean hers, the flaming hot? Hers. Hers is really delicious. Yeah, yeah. I think they're from Pennsylvania too. Hers is awesome. All right, ready? Yeah. Yeah. Well, this is multi grain. What the hell is that? <laughs> I don't know what they make Cheetos out of. I guess corn, right? Corn, it's yeah. Cheeto tree. Yeah. Yeah. You don't get them in Nebraska. What? Not much salt on that. No. That has like no flavor. It like needs some salt. It has nothing yeah. going on. I don't know if it's just not spicy or if it's just still the spice. I think all it is is heat. I get the heat from it. I just don't. There's no flavor. It's like it there's like, a little bit of cheese, but a little it's bit. Very minor. Very yeah. yeah. And the heat isn't really. It's like yeah, you slightly it spicy cheesy cardboard. Yeah, it's that's it's a, not. Yeah. Um, that's that's gonna go ahead and. Give one of these. Yeah, it's a big thumbs down. I don't, I don't think, think it's very good. No. Yeah, I if mean, we had that first, maybe like then it would have been better. But this, yeah, this is so good in comparison. Maybe. Oh yeah. Yeah, I'm not impressed. Yeah, it's um, I'm, I'm gonna give it. A thumb, I'm gonna give it a thumbs in the middle. It's like if it's in the cabinet and I'm hungry and there's nothing else there, I might eat that. But um, but I don't think I would buy it again. I, I wouldn't buy it. Yeah. Okay. And then the last but not least, the. Uh, <clears throat> hold on. Right there. What it's, does that say? It's art. Okay, hold on. It's it's school. Okay. Oh. So these apparently are corn puffs that flavored like. Oh, thanks. They'll open it the right way. I, I know people love to see that. They get so upset when I do that. Oh, I can really? smell it already. Oh my, it's so. Oh, yeah, it's not right. Oh, no, they don't like that, that I rip open nice. bags like a heap of You get that strawberry smell? Yeah. Oh man, that smells that great. It smells pretty good. It smells like candy. No, you know what it smells like? It smells like uh, strawberry quick. Yeah. Oh, that smells good. All right. I'm excited. Wait. Ah, okay. All right. Mm. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. those those taste like strawberry. Mm -hmm. It tastes like a cereal, like a Captain Crunch. Yeah, mm -hmm. I know. That's delicious. <laughs> yeah, but, right. but but they don't yeah. chew your mouth up like broken no, glass like ca this Captain Crunch great. does. The texture is the only thing that's a little egg. It's a little grainy. But well, uh, they're corn the puffs, so you know. Yeah, but like those had good, better texture. I would argue. Just everything else about it sucked compared to this. Mm. Oh, good. Oh, really good. nice. Yeah. Oh, major thumbs up. Yeah. Big thumbs way up on that. Major for sure. So you know, it's in a. You can't see them, so mm. I was a little bit nervous about it. So uh, let's uh, let's rate them. <clears throat> Your favorite, Matt? Oh, still there. Oh, <laughs> yeah. One, two, three. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. Same here. Mm -hmm. So, uh, you know, hands down. These are actually very close, though. I really like those. You mean as far as... Uh, are we oh, yeah. Oh, let's let's do, do it. All right. Let's do it. I'm down. Here, stick one of those on there, too. No. Yeah, that doesn't no, it doesn't deserve it. <laughs> Not good enough. All right. Mm -hmm. Domination. <laughs> Domination. Can you taste it? A little Maybe bit of sweetness from those. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But that sweetness is really nice. It's not like it overly sugary. It takes the heat of that a little bit. Mm -hmm. It mm -hmm. takes the heat away. Yeah. Yeah, but it's still there. Not bad. A little bit, but yeah. Yeah, very nice. Good choice. Uh, this guy. Yeah, yeah, nice. Those two together were better than that. Uh -huh. So if you get a chance, check these out. Um, I, again, uh, 99 Ranch Market. I don't remember where I got those. I might have got those at Ralph's, which is a Kroger store. And these are definitely Kroger product. Uh, give them a shot, see what you think, let us know. See you soon. Thanks for checking out Trippy Food. If you enjoyed watching that video half as much as I did making it, well then I enjoyed it twice as much as you did. And if that's the case, you'll probably like this video right here. And if not, check out this video right here. That one's a little bit different. Either way, leave a comment down below. And be sure to subscribe by clicking on the Trippy Food icon right here. Glad you could make it, and we hope to see you again soon.